Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganty Plans. Today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet. I kind of warned you that this was coming. Um, I felt like uh, a change, and so for the first time in four years, I'm back in a traveler's notebook. So I thought today I would shoot a quick little setup video for you to sort of show you how it is. Um, I've only been in here for a few days, so there's not a lot of flipping through to do, um, but I just kind of want to show you the structure of it um, and give you an idea there. I think I'll do a weekly plan with me next week, and then, um, yeah, you'll, you'll get like a full, like, fit flip through with more like planning content in it um, next month sometime probably. I have to refigure out my content schedule because this has sort of derailed it. <laughs> um, I just felt like it and then I had the uh, sort of burst of energy to get it done. So I went ahead and did it. I spent uh, one of my pumping breaks at work <laughs> uh, figuring out where to put everything. But this here is a Chic Sparrow Outlander in wine. Now, I don't know. I feel like she's changed names and things. I have not kept up with Chic Sparrow's product line since I was last in a Chic Sparrow, like I said, four years ago. Um, and more than that now. So I really do love this. It's squishy kind of a leather. It's the, um, the kind with the pockets inside. I, I forget all the terminology. I should probably look this up because it has been such a long time, but I do really remember liking being in this one. I like the way the spine kind of looks. It's got sort of a, it's like lighter on the spine, I think from the way it curves and gets kind of stressed. Um, this natural leather does get scuffs and stuff. You can see it's got some scratches from either my nails or from my keys. I'm not sure, but um, I don't mind. And um, I'll just kind of go through. I don't have a lot in the pockets. I don't think there's anything in the front. Um, and just in the back, I have a couple of receipts here I need to scan in an app. And then this is just a piece of cardstock that I was using as a straight edge. Um, I went ahead and moved all of my wallet stuff into a separate wallet. Uh, if you want to see a wallet set up, I might be able to show you. It's an old wallet I had from um, back when I was studying abroad in Europe. Um, mostly it's just money stuff. There's nothing fancy in there. Um, so this has four strings, but I'm only using three of them because it seemed to work out better that way. And I have these last two um, inserts. Uh, man, I've forgotten all of the terminology I've been in rings for so long, where you attach them together with a rubber band, piggybacked or something like that, um, onto the last string, and then this other string is unused. Uh, because this notebook in the middle took up so much room, it lays a little bit better this way. So this first insert is one that um, I made out of my own inserts and printed out myself. Um, these covers and stuff I had in my stash from the last time I was in Traveler's Notebook. Sorry, I have the window open. I'm not going to stop recording to go open it. So I've got like my monthlies in the front here. This is the month on one page insert number 64. Um, as you can see, some of them are a little higher than and lower because this is designed for a pocket size Traveler's Notebook. So I sized it up a little bit. Um, and the dimensions are a little bit funky, so it lines up nicely on this way, but this way is a little bit off. So this one was printed on the bottom of the page, and so it was printed on the top of the page, and they don't line up. I'm the only one using it. I'm the only one who cares. Um, but there you go. That's insert 64. And if you did want to do exactly this, all I did, like I said, was print it at um, 108% to just make it a little bit bigger and fit a little bit better. Um, so I have monthlies printed out through next January. I figure by then I'll decide whether I want to stick around with this or, you know, I'll make a new insert for for the new year. But just from previous experience, I know that setting up a whole new planner in December is often a big ask. So I have it all the way through January in case I don't get to it in December. Um, then I have a future log. This is the... Um, school calendar, the same full size one. I printed it out again and it's all folded up here. Um, pocket size travel notebooks are five and a half inches. So it's just folded in half this way and then like this. Um, and it's just tipped in at like the top half on the back here. So it's in the middle. Uh, future log, last time done log, recurring tasks like oil change and stuff. Um, this is my content calendar. It's right in here. So this whole section, this whole insert is supposed to be like relatively long-term stuff and future planning. Library books that have checked out. Currently there's nothing checked out. Uh, wish list. Then the middle one here, and uh, none of this is actually stapled. The middle one here so that I can take it out easily um, is my birthdays and anniversaries. That way I can just keep this and use it in any future setup because um, the benefit of this insert is that I never have to remake it. Um, 
then gift ideas, and then the rest of it is meal planning inserts. Um, I wanted to have enough for that period of time from now through January, so I have not quite as much as one every week, more than one every other week, because I don't always make a new meal plan every single week. Things pop up, we have leftovers that last longer than expected, and I don't always need a new one every week, so um, that's, that's what this clip is here, is clipping the rest of them all together. Then the next insert, this I got from Amazon. I am so in love with this cover. It's just like a poly leather, um, sort of a suede kind of a feel. It feels almost like, um, like a rubbery kind of a texture. It's just so soft and I love it. I don't know. It's called Zequins. Apparently it's made in Korea. Got it off Amazon. It's got this really cool, like semicircular spine. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. And it's supposed to be really flexible and to open real well. Um, but I just have it in here. It's this pocket size and it's quite thick. So this is for weekly and daily planning. These are some dailies I'm going off of. And this is a, a little weekly I set up for this week. I use some of the um, Happy Planner stickers in here just for fun. Uh, cause I'm just playing around with it. And the idea that this is really the thing that made me want to move into a traveler's notebook again was having all of the inserts, like all of the actual like day-to-day -day planning all in one place to be able to go back and look at it later. Cause for a while I, I, I threw out a chunk of my planning inserts, like my dailies and weeklies. I like archived them on a video and then I threw them out and I feel kind of bad about that. Like in hindsight, I really love going through my very first bullet journal and, you know, like flipping through it and remembering things. And so I kind of like the idea of it being bound and easy to archive like that. So it's nice and thick. And this is what I'll be using for my weekly and daily planning for a while. Um, I'm trying to give myself permission to use lots of pages if I need them, uh, because there are lots of pages available. This is a dot grid. It's a, I think half in, or sorry, half centimeter dot grid. Um, so there you go. Very, very old school bujo throwback then this next one is the sort of short term and um, project planning insert again these are all printed off of my own personal inserts and there's a penis planner co one in here too um so i did that the same way 108 percent um so we've got this 52 weeks future log just the back half of the year sort of showing if i can assign myself one project per week that's this one this is a self-care bingo. I had already started on this earlier in the summer, so I just transferred it over and filled out what had already been done. Um, this is a sort of running to-do list kind of catch-all. I decided instead of having an inbox page, I would just keep stickies. So that's where the sticky lives. Um, I probably need a couple more sticky notes. Anyway, running to-do list, just space for general, whatever. Then um, this goal planning insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I love for my small projects. So this one, yeah, I have some to-dos for my shop and stuff. Um, then there's more of these on the other side over here. Um, I'm trying to reorganize my office space a little bit. Um, I have some garden things to do, um, some clothes to donate. This middle one, just like the other insert, this is the one that can kind of come and go. Um, I could replace this more quickly is the idea in this case, rather than having something I can never, never need to replace. This is something I can replace easily. This is just a sort of context list and there's only two contexts, home and away. <laughs> so just as to do's pop up, I'm experimenting with not having a weekly to do list instead of having these and the running to do list sort of in here. And I'm, I'm playing around with my system a little bit. Um, then I have, let's see, waiting on, a honeydew list, um, craft projects, someday maybe, and then to watch, and that's it in this one. And then I had one more field notes insert on my shelf that was blank. So that's in here, and this is my project pages. So this is gonna be a table of contents. I was gonna throw a little sticker on there or something to make it cute and start just sort of keeping track of what's in here. But I have um, a layout of our girl's room. They're gonna get a new bedroom in another month or two. Um, and so I you know, wanna do the layout and shopping lists and stuff here. Um, this is all of the plans that I've made for my daughter's birthday. She's turning two in the middle of September, and I'm very ready for it. 
Oh, I was just taking some notes on the organization video I was watching, and then this is tipped in um, a little infographic about sleep training, because that's going to be happening coming up in a few more weeks. Um, I don't think it's going to be very hard. He goes to sleep really easily, but I just, I have slip, sleep trained all of our kids so far, and Ferber worked pretty well with our second, so I think that it will work again if we need to do a little bit of it, and this is the uh, reference. So no hate if you don't like sleep training, but it, I think it works real well for us. Um, and then that's the setup. So um, I hope that, that was interesting. Uh, I hope that you are not going to all leave en masse because you only follow me for my ring planners. And now that I'm in a traveler's notebook, I've abandoned you. But I know I already heard from one person who is really happy that I was moving to traveler's notebooks. Um, someone else who is kind of excited for it. So I think, I, I feel like there might be a little bit of a market for these videos, hopefully. Anyway, in any case, I'm always going to show you whatever planner system I have going. And right now it's this, it's making me happy. Um, I do love the squareness of it. Um, I didn't really plan for it to be exactly so perfect, but it really is nice and parallel here. And this one just feels so like official. I don't know the way that this leather feels like a real book. Um, the chunkiness, it's just real nice. So um, and in the pen loop fits my G2. That's, uh, it's, it's good. So far, so good. Uh, so stay tuned for more Traveler's Notebook content. I'll see you guys in the next video if you subscribe. So next Thursday. Bye.